This is the Barnes and Noble's booksellers uh, business in the plaza. It is uh, it is uh, the address is 420 West 7 uh, 47th Street. Uh, we see here a evidence of a arch with keystones and voussoirs. We get the rounded uh, rounded uh, window frames. Um, we also get uh, this introduction of tile into the structure, which is made of brick. Uh, also, we get uh, more of these uh, sort of stilted arch, arched windows in the front here, all uh, with the tile, which is all trying to replicate a Spanish style. Uh, the entire plaza itself is supposedly of the Romantic Spanish style. Um, uh, we get the same tile replicated down here in one of the archways, which I presume is filled in either due to some uh, storage space or the fact that it's right around where the registers are and they wouldn't want that. Uh, we see it again here uh, down on the end. Um, we also get uh, the presentation of the, the, sorry, I already mentioned the tile. Um, and then we get the uh, little almost uh, belt crosser. I think is what it's called. Let me check. I apologize. Belt courses. Um, we also get the evidence of the replication again of the tile in the doorway here, where we see another one of the arches. As we can see, replicated the same design of the window paneling in the arches here. Uh, also, we get regular casement windows. However, Barnes and Noble's added green, uh, almost half dome hoods to each one of them, kind of representational of the the lettering with the green around it, kind of a aesthetic choice. As we can see, Barnes & Noble's is obviously a book predominantly seller. Uh, a lot of the space is dedicated to either shelving or displays. We can still see those windows with the arches, and as you can see, this is where the registers are. Um, originally, this building was a shopping Macy's store, uh, where we don't see the wrought iron, which is common among Spanish architecture, nor do we see the stucco. The stucco color is mimicked almost in the brick. However, we get these wrought iron motifs on the inside, as you can see here, and also here, where you see more of the wrought iron. Uh, the building itself is over three, has over three stories of of uh, display space. The oh, here we get a small, almost segmented arch. Um, the to ascend to get to the other floors, there is an L, uh, escalator system. Again, this is because this design is like this on the interior due to the previous occupants of the building being a Macy's, which is a very big store with multi-divisional departments, whereas Barnes & Noble's is really a singular division. However, it tries to do its best by spreading out its collection over multiple floors based on book type and such. Also, we see recessed lighting in here and also recessed roofing where the we have hanging chandeliers. Whereas the escalators take you up in Barnes & Noble's, there's a nice, almost grand central staircase that takes you down to the DVD area where we get this uh, octagonal uh, octagonal uh, verticals on the balusters where and also again this wrought iron motif that is uh, uh, used a lot in Spanish architecture for normally window treatments. In comparison today we have the Valencia stairs where we get again this uh, repetition of the tile uh, and the, these uh, diagonal motifs which you'll see co quite commonly around the Country Club Plaza. Again, we have this uh, iron uh, iron railing system that is uh, quite common of Spanish architecture. You see it here uh, across the portico or the uh, deck of the uh, McCormick and Schmicks, which is right there, and also the uh, tiled roofs, roof, which is also on the Barnes & Noble's building uh, on the small uh, at the top of the stairs we get this really nice iron gate uh, where you see a arch motif almost almost like a gable uh, accent on the top with uh, columns uh, made of iron also this is very decorative and a very interesting choice of style whereas the risers of the uh, Valencia stairs were in tile the treads are actually in brick and stone which is uh, more probably more durable than uh, uh, most other treatments and also goes along with the color and the stone trim that goes on in the McCormick and Schmick and the Valencia parking garage which is right here.